out I got a uh, pressure gauge put together that's a four foot fluorescent cover it's not showing up very well and then I got a tube that comes from so I wired off right after my flash arrestor and I got that tube that comes up down into there I said that's four foot tube measured with a tape it's 47 inches from this black line to the very bottom where the tube can do and from the stuff I found out well I just did some quick checking and the best thing that I could find was 28 inches for one PSI and I'm not sure I, I've read two different things that says the column doesn't matter and then I've read that the, co the size of the column does matter so I'm not sure maybe one of you guys uh, engineers or something that understand this stuff a little better could help me out with that but from the stuff I found like I said it's a 40 46 inch total total height which ends up being 1.6 psi if I was to make bubbles come out the bottom of here like right now it's running there's my half psi there's one, so it's probably about three quarter psi. So you can see where the air, where it goes from being liquid in the line to being air in the line. Well, it's actually HHO. But something really strange I've noticed here. Okay, it's it's running now at what do we say three quarter psi. And that's with the flame lit. You can see a little bit. When I blow the flame out, like when I first had it running, it was running in between quarter and half psi. As soon as I light the flame, the psi starts to go up. I'm doing this little tiny needle tip. It's a point zero zero nine, and then. It don't come up on camera, but it's it's almost smashed completely closed off. I'm not sure how to show that on camera. It's hard for me to see it. But it is almost closed off. Actually, I'll try to... I just blew the flame out. See, it's starting to drop already. And I, as soon as I notice this, I've done it a few times enough that it set aside my interest that yes, that is exactly what was going on. Now I'm just curious as to why it's doing it. The only two things I can figure is one, the metal in my tip is heating up and it's closing the orifice off tighter than it is because of the metal expanding. Or somehow the flame front is preheating the gas before it burns which is making it expand see it's still just steadily dropping almost a half psi I'll just spark it back up see it's dropping now I'm getting ready to light the torch the torch is lit See it stopped dropping, now it's starting to go right back up. And like I said, it'll just, it'll continue to travel right at that rate. I'm not sure how high it'll go. See, it's just creeping right back up. I don't, I don't 100% understand why. I'm still running at low watts. It's at 1.6 amp, probably 9 to 10 volt. I was actually just playing with the uh, pressure gauge. And it turns out I'm really, really happy with it. I'm thinking maybe it's going to let me be able to make multi tips. 
you know, I'm smashing these needles down with a pair of pliers, but I'm going to be able to use a pulse width modulator to keep my current set and then run a tip and make sure I'm running in the same PSI and I'm hoping that's going to let me gauge like 10 needles all the same size to do a multi-flame. And it's still just climbing right back up. <laughs> just blew it out. See it dropping. I, I don't understand why. And it's moving faster than the amount of gas I'm putting out, so I don't... I mean, even if I plug my finger on the torch tip, it doesn't move that fast. So some kind of something weird's going on here, and I... Hope somebody can have some kind of explanation as to why. I lit the torch. So the pressure climbing right back up again. And my torch tip doesn't burn hot. So it's not something like... Like you think the whole needle's getting hot and heating it. So if it is preheating the fuel, it's doing it. Zoom in on it, good. You see that wood in the background? That's another project that's going to be uh, unfolding here as soon as it quits freezing every night. So my tip's not burning hot. You know, it's not glowing red or nothing. So I, I can't understand why my pressure climbs up whenever I light the torch. Very strange. Alright, I'm not going to bore you with more watching water moving up and down. About this gauge, I just went to Lowe's today. It's It was $7.30 I believe for I bought a one and a quarter end cap and then used a hole saw to drill through two pieces of plywood and then one for the base so that it held it straight up and down you know they got that dome bottom on them and then your four by polycarbonate for the around a uh, fluorescent light bulb and then 20 foot a quarter inch line that was all 750 or eight dollars something like that and I'm really happy with it I just hope that my numbers are right and if not they're easy to change if somebody steers me in the right direction as to how many PSI per inch in a column of water and if the, the, the size of your column of water matters not your height but the diameter I don't think that it would but then again it is picking the water up when you blow bubbles in there it does pick the whole column up but I don't it's a little out of my league But I'm pretty sure that it's working. One one point six PSI for the total. And that was for forty six inches of water. And even if my numbers ain't right, it should work for the function that I needed to do, and that's gauge different different size orifices against each other. And make sure I'm getting the same flow rates. It's still slowly climbing up. As soon as I blow it out, it'll drop back down again. <laughs> Flames out. See it dropping already? It really moves fast. And it seems to go down faster than it rises up. So something strange is going on. I'm going to light it again and it'll instant, it'll almost instantly stop it and then slowly start to climb back up. Lit. See it stopped. Slowly riding back up. If anybody has any input please comment. Thanks for watching.